Hello Christiana channel members, viewers and subscribers, very good day to you all. So once again, I am really happy to meet you all. This time with a very genuine review about a Scopus Index Journal. It is called as International Journal of Environmental Sciences from India. So in this video, we will try to find out whether this journal is really indexed in the Scopus database, which quartile it really comes under, whether this journal is also indexed in the Web of Science database or maybe ABDC journal quality list as well. So we will try to find out the article processing charges, what they have mentioned in the website and what they are collecting through the back door, through the agents, through the associations and even through the conference organizers. We will try to find out the actual time they really take up from submission till acceptance, till publication, till the indexing of your valuable research article in the Scopus database. Well, without wasting much of our time, let us go straight into the genuine review of International Journal of Environmental Sciences Journal from India. So this is the journal we are discussing about. So we have searched for this particular journal, International Journal of Environmental Sciences, space, the ISSN number. We have got the relevant search result. Okay. So we have theaspd.com. We also have a Sci Imago Journal rank discussing about this particular journal. We also have other indexing databases having similar kind of information. Let me tell you that uh, we are reviewing this particular journal from India. Okay. So here uh, with this particular journal, this is the website theaspd.com. Okay. So let me tell you that this website has been in circulation through the back door, through the agents, through the associations and even through the conference organizers. And this is the only website available. Okay. So here they have mentioned it to be a quarterly journal format is online. It is an open access journal. Okay. So it is peer reviewed and refereed international journal. So it takes approximately four weeks or approximately like a one month for review process. Okay. And they have given one email ID over here. Okay. Here they have mentioned that they are uh, going to transform or maybe transition to the open journal system. Okay. And here in the current issue, it is just a special issue. We find too many number of articles being published. We can find internationalism in the published articles, but we can find more of the Indian author articles being published in the special issue even. As I told you that the current issue is a special issue on sustainable engineering. We find too many articles being published. When you browse through the archive section, okay, we can find some irregularity. For example, they have started with issue number one and then there are two special issues. Then there is issue number two, then again two special issues. They have mentioned it as a quarterly journal, okay, which means that there are four issues within a year. But as you can see, there are already six issues in 2025 as of now, okay. So up to 2023, they were a bi-annual journal. They were actually publishing two issues per year, okay. 2024 was also good. But as you see in 2025, there is irregularity. Also, you try to browse over the uh, articles in the current issue. We find some irregularity in the pages. Some articles are long, some articles are short, and there are too many number of articles being published in every issue. When you browse through the submission section, okay, they have given the author guidelines about how you should prepare your manuscript. Okay. So here uh, with this instruction to author section, okay, so complete affiliation details with ORCID ID, with biography, everything should be mentioned. And they have also given the referencing style format even, okay. Here they have not updated the publication frequency. Here you have to create an account, okay, and then you have to log in. And then you have to submit your paper. They follow a double blind peer review process. When you browse through the editorial team uh, section, okay, so the founder editor in chief is uh, Mihai V. Putz from Romania, okay. And we also have a senior editor, Dulal C. Ghosh from India. Okay. We find complete affiliation details of each and every editor that is actually very good. But uh, the institutional email ID is missing. Okay. Please understand that uh, displaying the academic email ID or maybe institutional email ID is a primary requirement for getting a ISSN number which they have not followed in this particular website. When you browse through the article processing charges, they have given the open access charge to be rupees 30,000 for Indian authors. And for foreign authors, they have charged like $550 or approximately like $45,000 in Indian rupees. Please understand that uh, through the back door, through the agents, through the associations, 
they are collecting a charge of approximately 20,000 in Indian rupees. While the review process takes uh, four weeks of time or approximately one month, they are trying to publish your valuable article within two months of time if it is really quality enough. When you browse through the contact section, we do not have an affiliation address, we do not have a pin code, we do not have a live Google map location, we do not have a toll free number. We really don't know where they are actually based upon. Of course, we know that this journal is from India, but they should display all these details, right? So here they have given one email ID associated with this particular domain. Also, we have a Gmail ID here. We'll try to cross check this information in Sai Imago journal rank. Okay, so we have got the relevant search result. Subject area category, it comes under agricultural and biological sciences, earth and planetary sciences, environmental sciences. Okay, so the publisher is academic science, publications and distributions. So this information you can find almost like uh, every other indexing platform. So Sai Imago Journal Rank has uh, regarded it to be a Q4 quartile journal. Please understand that the H index is just two, okay? So here coverage years shows 2020 till 2025. We'll try to cross check this information in Scopus database. If you try to click on home page as well as how to publish in this journal, okay? It exactly points to the link, the website, what we have reviewed. So this is the genuine website according to Sai Imago journal rank. But if you try to click on how to publish in this journal, okay, they are pointing to a link, okay, which is actually not loading for quite a long time. If you try to scroll over, they have displayed the scope of this journal, okay, it comes under Q4 quartile under all subject area categories. We can find the two year, three year and five year statistics about this particular journal. In the comment section, several people have asked uh, some irrelevant uh, details about this particular journal. With Sai Imago journal rank website, we have uh, got the information. Anyway, we will try to cross check this information in scopus.com. So in scopus.com, sources being selected in the title, we have searched for this particular journal. We have got the relevant search result. Highest percentile is 33 percentage, okay. If you try to click on this particular journal, okay, we have got the relevant search result. So currently this journal is being indexed 2020 till 2025, okay. So they are indexing articles, same publisher, same ISSN number. We do not have a view homepage. But again, there are other ways to cross check as well, okay. So in Scopus content coverage, we find 2025, 29 documents, 2024, 12 documents, okay. So up to 2023, they had been maintaining some irregularity. They had been maintaining some quality in the published articles. After like 2024, we cannot find much of the quality research articles being published in this journal. And let me tell you that in 2024, totally 14 documents got published in the website. Out of that, only 12 documents got indexed. And here in 2025, we find more than 29 documents got published in the website. Out of that, only 29 documents got indexed. So you can understand that not all articles published in the website get indexed in the Scopus database. So suppose if you are prepared to submit your valuable research article to this particular journal website, please make sure that it is aligned to the scope as well as subject category of this particular journal. After that, please try to submit to the journal because there are chances that it might not get indexed in the Scopus database. Okay. So when you browse through the site score rank and trend, okay, so here, it comes under the 33rd percentile. Okay, so since it comes under 26 till 50, it comes under Q3 quartile. So whatever information given in the Sai Imago journal rank website has been found to be incorrect. I really don't know why this journal is uh, still continuing in the Scopus database because as you see, we can find some irregularity in the published articles. Not all articles published in the website get indexed in the Scopus database. So if you have any concerns or maybe complaints regarding this particular journal, please feel free to share to the Scopus Elsevier support team. They will be taking your queries. They will be registering your queries. And suppose let us take in the case, if more complaints arise out of this particular journal, then they will remove them immediately from the Scopus database. Anyhow, as of now, this particular journal is currently indexed on the Scopus database. Please keep in mind that not all articles published in this particular journal website get indexed in the Scopus database. Okay. We are unable to get the relevant search result in the master journalist if you try to check the journal information. Also, we are unable to get the relevant search result 
in the ABDC journal quality list as well. So as far as this particular journal is concerned, we do not have a cloned or maybe a fake website. But with regards to genuine website, as I told you many, many times, not all articles published in the website get really indexed in the Scopus database. This journal takes a tentative time of approximately two months time for publication if your paper is really quality enough. The article processing charges mentioned in the website is 30,000 in Indian rupees or 550 US dollars. But through the backdoor, through the agents, through the associations, through the conference organizers, they are charging approximately 20,000 in Indian rupees and they are publishing your article within just one month. I am not very sure about how long will this journal really remains in the Scopus database for long. So if you have any clarifications, questions, queries, positive or maybe negative experience with this particular journal, please feel free to share in our comment section. So I'm sure you would have benefited a lot out of this useful awareness video. So see you then in another interesting genuine review of a Scopus Web of Science SCIE ISI ABDC Journal Quality List. Till then, collaborate.